Alright, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Today we're going to be continuing on the Pearl uh, component story. We're going to head into this building and uh, confront Cassandra and Madalus. So let's go ahead and get in there. And it's really, really white. I love the track here. I think this track is literally called Third Archetype. Um, the archetype, sorry, Third Heaven, I think, is the is this variation. Whoa, look at this place. It's different from that other building. I don't know why, but this place is giving me bad vibes. I think I know what you're talking about. Something's real weird here. Um, guys, I can't explain it, but I have a real big desire to go upstairs. It's probably just your instincts telling you where the exit is. That makes sense too, we fell down, so the only way out is up. I don't know. Oh, hi there. I like how all of us just like went into battle mode here. Venom got her survivor out, Melia transformed, Ren is flying. I'm not here to fight you. What? I said I'm not here to fight you guys. I'm done fighting. Huh? But why the sudden change of heart? You guys said before, that what I know are all just lies. Can you prove that? I... I want to believe you all. You just seemed so sincere back then. I'm conflicted. Crescent showed me everything that happened with a vision. It just seemed so vivid and real that I didn't even consider the possibility that it could be fake. A vision? In that case, I think there's one way we can explain the discrepancies. There is? The girl with red hair. So yeah, the girl with red hair can create illusions. Crescent never cared about Nim. So you're saying that the Crescent I saw could have been someone else entirely? Yeah. Yep, she she can make these crazy illusions. We've all been fooled by it once or twice. So then what's real? Huh? Ren said it himself. If she can create indistinguishable, indistinguishable scenarios, how do we know that everything we've gone through up to this point is real? For all we know, every step has been predetermined, scripted, and fabricated. I'm asking, what is the truth? I... Ah, never mind. I'm gonna choose to believe you guys. Even if it still turns out to be a lie in the end. Because... Because I want to believe that my friends would never abandon me. Nim. And I'm gonna travel with you guys, whether you like it or not. Got it? No objections for me. I'm fine with this. Just don't try to pull anything stupid. Good. Oh, and just so you know, I ran into Team Zen on the way down here, so be ready to fight. We always are. Group talk is now available. A weird place to group talk, but sure. Uh huh, some lobby. Yep, a very similar like style, yeah. The stairs are very similar. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, true. So yeah, one the other thing you can do is you can change partner. Uh and like so when you when you're battling you can like battle with other people. Um for now I'm gonna pair up with Venom, I guess. That's fine. You can also work solo uh, for a bit, but yeah. I'll pair up with Venom for a bit. Um, elevator won't respond. Turn this display on. Huh. That thing is voice activated. Huh. How do you know all that? Mm-hmm. So yeah, Ven Nim somehow knows all that. So yeah, anyways. Skarmory and Waylord. Um, she still has the Charizard. Oh, I forgot about Sturdy. Oh, you're gonna Spikes. Okay, well this should be over though. Oh. Okay, that was still fine. Um, this is not great for me in particular. 
Okay, that's fine. Hello. Kirklon and Pseudo Wudo. So yeah, these these battles are not particularly hard at all. Um, I'm guessing sturdy. No sturdy. Huh, Rockhead then probably. Um, but yeah, we could keep going. Um, explore a little bit. Looks like it's some sort of bed room. The barracks. Uh huh. Seeking and Frostmoth. Well, Frostmoth is gonna die to uh, Charizard. Yeah, it's fine. Hello there. Uh huh. Huh, so some data panels that are non relevant. Kingdra and Grapple Locked. Uh, Grapple Locked is not great for me. I'm gonna switch. Oh wow, okay. Maybe I didn't need to switch. Buffalon comes out, that's fine. Raichu, uh, that's fine then. Oh wow, okay. Okay, well we'll we'll take it. We can keep going up. How many floors does this building have? From just taking a look at the building from the outside? It's a lot. Lots of floors. Probably hundreds. We'll pass out from exhaustion before we get to the top of this thing. What do you want us to do? Fly up to the top? No, I've tried already. The top is covered with rock. Uh-huh. Alright, some sort of card. Renna can take care of that. Nim and Millie can go on ahead. Sounds good. So yeah, we'll be stuck with Nim for, by her, just us and Nim for a little bit. Um, yeah, that door is closed. So yeah, we'll just uh, head on over. That elevator won't respond. Right. Archetype detected in one individual. Closing doors immediately. What the hell? What's going on here? Activating force transformation. Uh, ah. What are you doing? I didn't do this. Scanning archetype holder. Please wait a moment. Scanning level. Scanning complete. Mastery level. Error. Power level. Error. Loading medium challenge difficulty. Melia, look. Oh, shit. Nim, commence gaddling. Uh, what now? And we are being shot with bullets. So don't just stand there. Do something. God damn it. This thing could turn around and fill me full of holes by just hitting it. And I'd rather not walk looking out of here, looking like a slice of Swiss cheese. Yeah, same. Push the shield back? Okay. So yeah, we'll have to press up. Just what I need. Implode, you stupid machine. Okay. Uh. That was close. Literally torn apart. Yes, it is because of the archetype. A shooting range kind of place. A place of practice, huh? Yep. Yeah, no, it's not. If you fail, you die. The door, uh huh, still locked. Oh, look at that. Okay. Alright, uh, so there's that. Yeah, um. Uh huh. Hello there. Um, these are parts psychic. We've, you've fought these before already. You have rage powder? I mean, that's kind of a bad move at, right now. Uh 
these things just like to uh, set up screens. Um, copy, I guess. Heat wave. Oh yeah, that's not ideal. Man, this thing is tanky. There we go. One day, I wish we'd have a mission that didn't involve fighting. Fighting is all there is. You can believe that if you want. I don't agree, personally. Hmm. That said, I think we make a good team. A what? Intruder alert, intruder alert. Haha, <laughs> we make a great team. Don't make me laugh. Tell that to my broken back, Milia. I'll show you how it's really done. Oops. Sorry, you were a little slow on that one, so I decided to give you a helping hand. I see. So that's how you want to do this. Well played, well played. I won't fall for that a second time. I'll show you who's the better fighter is among the both of us. Spoilers, the answer is me. Oh, I don't know about that one. Happy said you lack technique. That might come back to bite you later. What the hell does this fat pigeon know about technique? This fat pigeon knows a lot more than you, apparently. Let's try to keep it up, Nim. Yep, okay. So yeah, just the two of us again. Um, this door's locked. Yeah. Uh, how did you get here? Did you not get torn apart by the Gatling gun? Anyways, uh, we're gonna Dark Pulse on Nine Tails. Actually, yeah, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Hmm. I forgot about Primate. Oh well, it's fine. The Happy here, Gilded Helix. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then there's that thing. We don't have to fight it. Alright. Uh. Not this door. Hello. Oof, that was close. Yeah, so we'll have to start from this top room. Uh, hello there. My name is Lunala. Like the legendary? I am from Bridgeport's 3rd district. I undertook the archetype today for the very first time. It rejected me. I am losing light fast. My body could not handle its immense power. I am sorry to my mother. I could not become a success. Tell Leo I will miss him. This is the end for me. For life. Long live Garufa Incorporated. Ah, so the archetype can reject people and just drain the life out of them. Yeah, probably a coincidence. And there's a key. Yeah, so we'll have to uh, go through the other people here. And you can come in here now. My name is Azar. I took on the archetype's power. While I was able to have the power inside of me, I did not have the aptitude to manifest its power. Upon doing so, my eyes were completely destroyed. If it weren't for Garufa's tech, I would not be able to write my final thoughts down. Despite the immediate, immediate medical attention I received, it looks like the archetype itself is shutting my body down. Marcy, my dear Marcy, I could not save you. Yep. Yeah, uh... A bunch of people that are doing experiments here. My name, Jessica. I can barely speak. The Gatling Trowel. I could not- I, I could not manifest so many bullets. Yeah, uh... She- Jessica got torn apart. She got absolutely destroyed. My name is Hannah. I undertook the archetype's power. It did not reject me, however. As a result of my inaptitude, 
I have been diagnosed Genesis Syndrome. Genesis Syndrome is when your body lacks the power to sustain the power of the archetype. Because of this, it acts like as a parasite and drains the life out of its host. Even if the archetype is removed now, my body would certainly not survive. This is goodbye, Anna. Yep. So yeah, the archetype is basically draining life out of the person. My name is Gillian. I undertook the archetype's power today. Unfortunately, I was diagnosed with Genesis Syndrome. I completely lost the ability to speak. I think my vision is starting to fade as well. Is, is all life on Earth going to perish? Why can't we handle God's power? This is what us humans get for becoming arrogant. Garufa Incorporate will save all of us. They must. Gillian. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, uh... Because Melia has the archetype, but, uh, she gets exhausted when using it, so, you know. My name is Emma. I undertook the archetype's power today, and it failed miserably. I was unable to manifest its power and was mortally wounded during a test. I thought I had potential, but I guess not. The doctors say I don't have long left. It's cruel, isn't it? Life is just so cruel. But this is the path me and all the other volunteers chose. Humanity has nothing left but us. Is it all worth it in the end, though? What do we want to survive for? Anyway, I'm losing energy fast. Garufa Incorporated is our last hope. Please, save us. Her name was Emma? Are you losing your mind over another casualty? When will you get used to... Wait a moment, something's wrong here. What? It's what Emma wrote down here. But this is the path me and the other volunteers have chosen. These people weren't subjected to a life of experimentation. They were volunteers. There's... There's no way. There's no way these people throw away their lives for nothing. They didn't throw away their lives for no reason. Didn't you read what they said in all of their letters? They express, there's, they express their belief in Garufa Inc. Everyone said that Garufa Inc. would save them. Save them from what? I don't know. But whatever it was, it was worth sacrificing their lives for. No. N Nim? It, it, it's okay, Lear, let me... I don't want your help. You keep saying that, but it's evident that that's not the case. I'm going to help you regardless. Are you sure this will make you feel better? I guess th I guess her enjoyment of gourmet treat makes sense a little bit now, since, you know, they're Pokemon food. We are friends. Fine, we can be friends, but stop being nice to me. Nope. Yes. Whatever, I had my breakdown. We can leave now. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, uh, we got a key and we can get out of here now. And, uh, hello there. Wait a minute. Don't tell me it's time for your breakdown now. I'm not good at playing counselor. N no, I'm not gonna have a breakdown. It's just that this... I've seen this place before. Yeah, uh, when Melia was dreaming... Back when the Grand Dream Ball explosion happened. Yeah. Somehow she imagined this place. What's more likely is you've created this person inside your mind because they left an incredible impression on you. Uh-huh. These emotions aren't coming from them, but you as a result of trauma. Overlapping, huh. Yeah, how do you know know that? Yeah, you seem to know a lot about this place too. Someone living inside my head, that is. Huh? 
Ever since I was born or uh, manifested, I've been having dreams about this other person. She would talk to me, and I would sometimes see her memories. I thought they were just dreams, but it turned out that they weren't. Who was this person who was inside your mind? She's the person I took my name from, Nimira, and we know Nimira. Yep. So she, Nim's getting all of Nimira's memories. Nimira has been down here before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Nimira reborn, maybe? And here we are. Man, where did we end up now? This place never ends. Oh, wait, I think I remember this room. It's faint, but the memory is there. Oh, that's right. I remember this room now. Uh-huh. This place is where they would fuse someone with the archetype. H here? Aha, uh -huh, ran diagnostics. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, uh... Nim, I want to use this machine on myself. Nice joke, come on. We still need to look for that elevator key. It's not a joke. Do you know how to use this machine? I might. Good, I'll make my way to that room then. Melia, I don't know what's wrong with you, but this is insane. We just got shot at and now you just want to hop into this thing? Is it dangerous? Not that I remember, at least. Stupid as it may be, that's good enough for me. Uh-huh. Yeah, she just, uh, she just baited you hard. Uh-huh. You could drain the archetype right now. It will kill Melia. If I do this, I can... Oh. Nim almost did it. You shot them all. How could you do this to us, Viria? I'm sorry, Director. But I cannot stand by and watch you tear this world to ruin. What is the meaning of this? I've recently discovered that your testing method have been created for, well, more brutal re reasons, to weaponize the archetype's power. After all we've been through, this is the path you chose. You are well aware that the other world powers have caught on to the archetype's existence, yes? It will be but days until they are at our doorstep, waiting to steal that power from us. And just who was the one who leaked confidential information like that to said world powers? What are you implying? I have proof that you've leaked info just so that you can justify war. You and all the others here at Garufa Inc. have gone along with this project for that sole reason. The archetype was created to save humanity from a damned fate. And your greed for power has let our ambitions run amok. Addressed? Yes, ma'am. Was the archetype obtained? Yes, we've loaded onto the aircraft. It should be making its way to Ecclesia as we speak. Aha. Uh -huh. So the archetype was taken to Ecclesia here. Was it necessary to kill them? If there was any other way, we've lost that opportunity. Address, please, get me out of here. Go now, Address. We'll be making our way to the pyramid as well. As for you, Director, I'm afraid your services are no longer required. Uh, yeah. Have you seen the results? No. This can't be. Patient number 073, gender female, existential age 75, actual age 18. So Melia has been around for a while, which makes sense, right? Because uh, Melia was born with Alice, Alan, and Erin way back in the past. Uh, we, we traveled back into the past before uh, and met... The quote-unquote mom and dad. Um, 
which I guess if we take like just a pure subtraction from current year, from the birth year, that would be about 75. Um, but yeah, Genesis syndrome detected. Patient is asymptotic. Bodily failure detected in multiple areas. Seek treatment pod immediately. Yeah, uh, she has Genesis syndrome. Yeah, uh, Melia is slowly dying. Yep. That was with all their advanced technology. Eventually, I too will. Always the optimist, huh? Stop talking that way right now. But what am I gonna do? What's gonna happen to me? You've survived this long, haven't you? How much time do I even have left? There's no way I can tell anyone about this. This is... Melia... Look, you're gonna have to tell everyone else no matter what. This is serious. Don't shut down on me. If I lose against Team Zen, I will die. If I win, the fate is the same. Look. What you said just now isn't true at all. I mean, even if your fate is the same, it does matter. What about your friends? If Team Zen wins, they're done for. Yeah. There we go. Good job, Nim. Bait Melia with her friends. And you have to tell everyone else. Promise me you'll tell them. I promise. Besides, my brother and sisters have the same power than I do. It's possible they're suffering from Genesis Syndrome as well. Yeah, uh... Anyway, reach a dead end. Yep. Sounds good. Let's go back. So yeah, we'll head all the way back. All the way back. Ren, Venom. You guys, there you are. See, I told you things would work out if we just stayed put. Alright, alright, you win this time, Ren. Anyway, what are you two up to? Uh... I'm dying. Nothing. Did you find the elevator key? Yep. What the hell, Millie? You promised me. I know, and I will tell them everything. But just not right now. Our main objective is to stop Madlis and Cassandra from escaping. When that's done, I'll explain everything. It's like I said before, my family may be in danger too. Whether I want to or not, I have a responsibility to keep them safe. If I sacrifice everything to keep them safe, I'll... Uh -huh. Nim? Why? Well, uh, not much else to do but to get in the elevator. So yeah, we can now go back to all the way down to the ground floor if you want to. Uh, but let's make our way to the top. Where we go one more elevator. Into the Den of Souls. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Something has come for him. This feels a lot more Garufa. Another town frozen in time. Yeah, kind of like Elamisa. The same empty, hopeless feeling. It's certainly empty, that's for sure. Nim, do you know what this place is? No, I... But I pass here sometimes to, um, uh... It's okay, you don't have to explain why. If you're not comfortable with that, we're not gonna pry. What did I say about being so nice to me? Are you trying to pity me or something, Melia? Uh, here we go again. Nim, I'm not... Ah! Uh, Ren? Ren's been glitching out ever since we got to this place. Yeah, we need to get out of here. I, I, I can't fight this one. Everyone stand... Ah! Ah! Uh, hi, Ren? Uh, uh ho oh, what's going on? That is not Ren's voice at all. Ren? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you're talking about. What's your name? Can you tell us that? Oh, my name? I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't remember my name. I'm so confused right now. What the hell is happening? That That's another soul. An entire different being inside of Ren's body. Oh, so that's what's happening. I understand now. 
I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to cause trouble. To be honest, I don't really remember what I was doing before this. I was just drifting along until I felt compelled to come to this place. But then where's our Ren? I, I do feel his presence here, he is here just sleeping. Not to be rude, but you're gonna have to get out of my friend, Pronto. Oh, wait, Venom, maybe she can tell us about this place. Do you have any idea where you are? Oh, I remember now. This place was my home. Yes, I was living here with my two best friends until... Until we were separated by fate, it seems. We found ourselves on two opposite sides of a war. When it came down to it, we had to fight. She and I battled, but we couldn't bring ourselves to kill each other. I wanted to protect my home, but... I wanted to protect her even more than that. Therefore, in the end, I... Well... If that was the last thing if I, that I remembered, if you know what I mean. You took the killing blow on purpose? Why couldn't you two just settle your differences? There had to be another way. No, unfortunately not. This was how it's supposed to be. Enough, uh, Nim. Enough with the self-sacrificial bullshit. I can't hear it anymore. What? I'm such a hypocrite. Fight for your friends. How can I say such things when I can't even do it myself? Melia, you keep asking me what I was doing here in the first place. Do you really want to know why? If you want me to know, then say it. I came here to feast. To feast? I told you, didn't I? I am nothing but a monster. The child of the storm. I come here to the den of souls periodically to feast on the souls trapped here. Y you what? If I don't get the souls, what will happen? You know the answer, Melia. I know the answer? I know she's implying death, but I think she means something more specific. She turns to stone. That's what happened. You turn to stone. That's right. That's exactly what's happened to me. In order to prevent this, I come to visit my own realm, or drain the life energy from souls to survived. Yeah, because she was trying not to drain our lives. And she couldn't go back because Gira, um, Jenner, and Zeta were there. Yep. I passively drained the essence out of all human beings in my vicinity. I accidentally killed a woman by accident. But the evil that's inside me by nature was dying and it needed sustenance. That death was the last straw for Damien. He saw me as a threat to his people and every human on the planet. He ordered a bounty on my life and started the chase. Not, not even she was safe from me. After the long trip on the Grand Express, I almost killed Alexandra. That's when I decided we must part way. And then, yeah, we met Nim en route too. Is she was watching us at East Gear and too when we battled Venom. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't want to die. I just don't want to die. I'm scared and I need help. If things continue this way, I'll... Nim. There isn't any point in beating around the bush anymore. You all are trying to stop Stormtime from coming back, right? Our, our destiny is to fight and kill each other, so why don't we just get that over with? I understand you're scared, but if you're try you try to hurt us, Venom, stop. Let me handle this. I told you before that I wouldn't give up on you, Nim. I don't care who or what you truly are. You are my friend. S stop it. You're just making this harder for all of us. What can I do to help you, Nim? You want to help me? Give me the power of the archetype. Uh, you must be out of your mind, Nim. Nim, will that truly save you? In that case, Amelia, what are you? Amelia, what are you doing? Amelia? You were with me in the facility before. You know the risks of holding this power. Even with that knowledge, you still want this? I... I need it. I see. I vowed I would give this power to... I, I vowed I would protect this power from evil. But if giving it to you would mean saving your life, then... Amelia? I know you mean well, but think about what you're doing decision like this, it's catastrophic. You can't be responsible for this. 
I refuse to let an another one of my friends die, not on my watch. I will bend and break every rule on this forsaken planet before I let that happen again. Even in the end, if I am truly powerless to change anything, I won't go down without putting in everything I've got. Nim, you've suffered so much. I'm sorry for everything. If this will truly save your life, then accept it. After all that, why? I think... I think it's because she realized that even if she got a hold of this power, in the end, her destiny is something she cannot run from. If you think the same is true for me... Huh? Uh, oh, hi. Uh, forgot you were here. Yeah, it, there's still a lot of conflict going on. Yep. Hi, Ren. Uh, you okay? Yeah, uh... You were taken over by a different soul. Nim almost took Melia's power and she ran away. And, uh, yeah. Yep, a soul was trying to control the, uh, body. Which, because you're a robot, kind of makes sense. I need a vacation. That's all I have to say about all that. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, you need to have a long talk with everyone. All right? Yep, one last battle. Uh, so there are a bunch of houses here. We can't enter them, unfortunately. Uh, but here we go. Let's save and... Uh, I don't remember what she has. I think leading justice is probably fine. Have you ever met Nevit's little girl? Hmm? She's a little girl who has a rare disease. She's currently being treated for it at the Hospital of Hope. So? You want to know who or what changed me, right? It was that little girl, Francesca. A sick child changed you. Am I hearing that correctly? I discovered her by mistake, but ever since then she's been begging me to visit her when I had time. On my off time, I decided to do so. During these sessions, she'd tell me all about her hopes and dreams she wants to accomplish when she's better. Her words and personality were sincere, if not naive due to her age. She always had other people in mind. I had to force a smile through every session because I knew what I was working towards would take all of that away from her. And? I don't understand how this is different. Well, it turns out that Nevid and I joined Team Zen for the exact same reason. For Nevid, it was to save his daughter. For me, it was to save Lisbeth. Your sister. I convinced myself early on that the atrocities I, I committed would be to save her life. I acted with a grim smile when I conducted my experiments and took lives from people. Self-righteousness blinded me. A path of no return. I never even asked myself if this is what Lisbeth would have even wanted. At the end of the day, I realized what I was doing wasn't truly for Lisbeth at all. It was for me and my selfish reasons. It's always been that. So you aren't happy with the underlying true intentions of your actions? That's easy. We just need to find something to solidify your stance on things again. I'm sorry to interrupt, ma'am. Yep, we're coming. Alright. And let's do this. And you're in a party dress. And Madalys is just gonna sit back on this one. Okay. Are we really doing this right now? We've all made mistakes. Really now. Really. Oh no, how did you find out about that? Uh-huh. No mention of Ren to Madame X, no interfering on my part. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. You're basic. You're a fool if you'd think we'd fall for some basic manipulation like that. We respectfully decline. And she switched back. 
Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Aha, uh -huh, so you're a Zen admin. Yeah, so uh, we are going to be fighting Cassandra by ourselves. Ooh, Shadow Bisharp. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot um, catch this one. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, st okay. That's not ideal. Um, I forgot about Defiant. Uh, okay, probably lead Diligence next time then. Focus Sash. Okay. Okay, lead, lead, um, lead in the McHugh, for sure. Shinshino. This thing is faster than me, for sure. Oh, I wish I still had... Still, I wish I still had Justice. Um... Oh, it's Cresta Chinchino. Oh, uh, yeah. Cresta Chinchino is very scary. I don't think this will KO me. Lycanroc comes out. I'm down to just Earthquake here. Okay, close combat. Okay, we'll definitely have to restart this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm faster. I'm not. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, we have to restart for sure. Okay, that's fine. Lead Mimikyu, and we should be okay. Out comes Shinshino. Uh, yep, that's all fine. One, two, three, three times. Okay, that's not too bad. Lycan Rock comes out. Okay. I'm gonna King's Shield first, just see what it wants to do here. Drill run. Um, I think at minus attack, yeah, okay, we should be okay. Nice. Superior. Um, this thing is definitely trouble. Um, I'm gonna King's Shield first. Is it gonna Leaf Storm? I'm gonna assume Hidden Power Fighting. Or, sorry, Fire. Okay, let's Gilded Helix. It's gonna leave Storm, which is scary for sure. Nice, good crits. Milotic, Avian Milotic comes out. I'm gonna keep Gilded Helixing. I'm okay with this. Happy can go down, I'm okay. Uh... Flash Cannon should be... Oh no, Babiri Berry. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Without the Berry, I think, yeah, it goes down now. Mega Mawile coming out here. And the King's Shield. Uh, Sucker Punch, huh? I'm gonna go Serenity. Oh, I should have just King's Shield again. Am, am I faster? Yes, I am. Good. Uh, okay. I'm okay with going down here. Just deal some ship damage. Yep, that's fine. Uh, Steel Fairy, right? Yeah, Flash Cannon should be enough here. Oh, wow, even through Reflect. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, Sucker Punch doesn't KO me through Reflect, so nice. Your strength, it goes against all of our reports. What have you done to get so strong? Yeah, there we go. No problem. No way. We knew Melia had realized the archetype's power, but for it to have advanced this quickly is incomprehensible. Aha, uh -huh, we've had good teachers. There we go. 
I never thought the day would come when Cassandra would actually lose. That's it. She's done for. And what about you? Are you about to be right behind her? Yeah, uh... Yeah, I mean, Madeline is, uh... Yep. She's, she's, she knows she's lost. Yep, let's get out of here. Uh, what? Is everyone okay? A bit of a shake, but... Uh... Those are souls. If that thing gets a hold of you, you'll have a lot more problems than just Team Zen. Leave Cassandra for now. We need to get out of here. Uh, there's more ghosts coming. Uh, Ren? Ren? We're surrounded. Fine, if we can't walk out, then we'll fly out. Melia, you take Madalus with you on Happy. I'll carry Ren on Char... My Pokeballs, they won't work. Uh, yep, no Pokeballs, no Pokemon. Yep, the souls come for them. Yeah, they are wanting us. Yeah, uh... And... Welp. Uh-oh. Uh, for some reason they only targeted the three of us. You can't have them. Uh-huh. Hi, Nim. I used to pretend the souls here had no conscious thought, so that when I drained them of their energy, I, won't, I wouldn't feel more like a monster. But when I heard that girl's voice within Ren's body, I lost everything. There's truly nothing redeemable about me. A terrible plight through and through. That's not true. But it is true. Uh, where's Madalus, by the way? You all need to get out of here. I can help you escape. And let you stay down here to fend for yourself? Melia, come with us. We can escape together. Despite everything we've been through, we still love you, Nim. I know that now. And that's why I'm doing this. It's me you want, right? I'm the one who terrorized you all. But I'm here now. I won't run away. I'll face my destiny. And there goes Nim. Uh, okay. We survived. We're back above ground. You two okay? Okay, you two are fine. Ooh. Uh. I mean, we're gonna have to add soul protection for you, I guess. Yeah. Hey, look, Cassandra made it. Um, yeah, Madalus, I think, survived. Uh, the Pearl Component. Yeah, we... Uh, yep. Guess I'll call my sister. I've always wanted to say that. Erin, there's a lot. We got a report to you guys. Yeah, we didn't find a component. So this is when Erin picked up the call when we played the Diamond uh, route. Yep, we found Cassandra. Yep, we have her in custody, all that. Nim will be fine, I think. Yeah, we need a couple uh, days of break. And the same thing's happening. Pearl route complete. And there we go. Uh, that is the Pearl route complete. Next time, we'll get started on the Platinum route. There's really not a lot of, like, non-story stuff uh, to do in between parts. Um, everything is kind of consolidated at the end, so. That'll be it for me. We finished two of the three routes. The Platinum route is going to take longer than two episodes, of course. Uh, it's a bit of a longer route. That's okay. 
But that'll be it from me for this one. I will see you all next time.